Hello and welcome. You might need to upgrade your existing Windows 10 to Windows 11. You already have a Windows 10 license and need to upgrade your device to Windows 11. But the problem is your motherboard or your device doesn't support TBM version 2. In case you have any version or any edition from the TBM trusted platform module less than version 2, Microsoft released a way to bypass CC check or let's say bypass the checking for version 2 of the TBM which means you still need to have a TBM but this TBM not necessarily to be version 2. In order to gain the advantage for upgrading your Windows 10 to Windows 11 using non-standard or a non-compliant TBM module all what you have to do is to open your registry editor by uh, hitting Windows plus R then type reg edit after opening reg edit you need to navigate to HK local machine then go to system then setup after then you need to go to MO setup and inside the MO setup what you have to do is adding a new key or a new D word string this D word value need to be written this way allow upgrade with unsupported TBM or CPU by typing the name of value like this way and assigning it a value of 1 you now are eligible to download uh, the upgrade of Windows 11 from Windows 10 without the need to have as a supported TBM which is version 2 but remember that we stated earlier it will support you this fix will work with you if you are using TBM less than version 2 so you need to have TBM module already but what if you don't have a TBM module you need to make a clean installation uh, like formatting and play with the registry the way we discussed in uh, um, uh, our latest video uh, is it only the, the solution no in fact there are there are a solution that allow you to upgrade your unsupported uh, hardware that is running windows 10 to windows 11. to do so you need to use a different script and this script can be reached from this link which i will attach in the description of this video you need to copy this script so to be more specific when you open this page you will have a lot of scripts you need to copy the script that has a version 2 and by copying the content of this script you need to go to your desktop and create new text document file then paste the content that you just copied from the URL to this file and after then you need to change the extension of this file to be.cmd in order to run it using command prompt in PowerShell so in order to change the name of this file all what you have to do you need to go or open the Windows Explorer and go to view then go to options and then in view you need to remove the mark from the, the, the box beside hide extension for known file types so remove this checkbox and then click apply then right click on the text document that we paste the script inside it then type rename and append or change the word text to .cmd after then you need to run this cmd file and what will happen in background that this file will remove the requirement for checking the TPM module you will remove the requirement for checking the minimum amount of memory and will remove the requirement for secure boot so it is better or let's say superior than the way for Microsoft or for the registry editing that Microsoft just released so after the script is finished you will find this green label which you mean our script works fine then what you have to do is insert the Windows 11 ISO image and start the installation in this case we will we will perform an upgrade for the installation process 
or what you can do else is to run Windows update. And if you if Windows 11 released to your region, you will be able to download Windows 11 image or download Windows 11 update to existing Windows 10 installation. So let's let's try if our fix worked in this, in this device. We are working on a virtual machine, and this virtual machine, as you can see here, doesn't have the require the required memory. Just wait a second till the option loaded. We have two gigabyte of memory, which is less than recommended or the compliant uh, amount of memory as uh, requested by Microsoft. And as you can see here, we cannot find uh, we cannot see any TBM module exist. So uh, our machine is not compliant, but we run this script which will bypass the requirement check. Then I will uh, start the setup to the EXE and we'll wait a little in order to start the installation. We will wait for the installation because it will take uh, like a few minutes. So we, we are going to pause the video and we'll be back once uh, the requirement check passed. So as you can see here, it is now checking the PC. If the check passed, it will show me the license agreement to accept the agreement. If it didn't pass, it will tell me that I didn't pass the check for uh, the lack of TBM model or uh, the, uh, the low number or low size of RAM. But as you can see here, we have now the agreement. We can hit accept and proceed in the upgrade process. So in this simple hack, we saw how to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 without meeting the minimum requirement required by Microsoft. However, Microsoft uh, provides this solution with no warranty. It doesn't support, it will, it will not support you if you are not running with the minimum requirements they need, they need in order to support the full functionality of Windows. As for me, I will not suggest to download or install Windows 11 for production use right now. Uh, I will suggest to download it for testing, for evaluating, and so on. But don't install it in uh, your work machine or on your day-to-day -day operation machine because you may encounter some weird behavior. It's, it is it's still under testing, so I will I would just suggest to wait uh, for a few months before deciding to upgrade. And however, Windows 10 is still supported till year 2025, 20, uh, so. We still have support for Windows 10, we still have security patches, and Windows 10 for my daily routine is more than good. That, that's it for this video. I hope this video was informative for you, and I hope all uh, other videos before this video was, will, was also contributing to your overall knowledge. Uh, keep learning and keep uh, earning, inshallah, and have a good day. Bye-bye.